archaeologists will soon open a mysterious coffin discovered in Japan. What awaits them inside, they don't even suspect. In China, researchers have found a giant silk imperial decree that will tell us about the history of ancient China. And at the end of the video, you will find a space discovery found at the bottom of the ocean. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Mysterious Coughing this archaeological find discovered in Japan will make our journey into the past even more exciting. Archaeologists have found a huge stone coffin in the ruins of the ancient Yoshinagari fortress. The length of this coffin is a whole 3.2 meters. This is one and a half meters more than the usual tombs of that time. Inside the coffin is another one, a little smaller, about 2.3 meters long. The coffin is composed of four stone slabs, each of which looks very impressive. The coffin was found in Yoshinagari Fortress, which is located in the Japanese province of Saga on the island of Kyushu. At that time, the fortress was the largest settlement in Japan, surrounded by a deep moat. Other tombs have already been explored in the ruins of the fortress, but this coffin is the largest of all that are known to science. Scientists have determined that this giant tomb was built between the 2nd and 3rd centuries during the era of the Yamatai state. There are marks on the surface of the coffin, probably made with sharp metal tools. Some of them resemble the Japanese katana character. Probably these signs serve to protect the deceased from evil forces. Scientists believe that someone very important could be buried in the coffin. After all, ordinary people were not buried on top of the hill. This is evidenced by the huge size of the tomb. The coffin will be opened soon, and what scientists will find inside, we will find out in the following videos. In the meantime, you can write your guess in the comments. What might be hiding inside the giant? And coughing. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up with new finds of archaeologists, and I will continue. Unique Wagon in Russia Imagine a car made by hand from wood. Instead of wheels, massive wooden discs, instead of a body, a lattice of interwined twigs. It is curious, but such a wagon was found by archaeologists in the Rostov region. It was buried in the grave of a 50-year-old man who lived in the 23rd century BC. You'll probably ask, how could such an ancient wagon survive? Well, we are just lucky here. The coolest part of the wagon, the frame, that is, the running gear, has been preserved quite well. And you know what's interesting? The masters of those times very carefully selected wood for every detail. For example, the frame was made from maple and the wheels were made from oak. Super deep research even showed that all the trees were native. This means that the wagon was made right there. Our ancestors cut down trees in the forest that was nearby and used them to create their vehicles. The the coolest thing about this story is that the ancient inhabitants of these places knew how to work with wood, we from twigs, and all this with the help of simple bronze tools. So guys, the ancient nomads were not quite as savages as we could imagine. They skillfully used all available resources and created completely unique things. $30,000 luck the main character of this story was Jason Jones, a treasure hunter who was lured by the dream of a great find. After two medieval silver coins were discovered earlier in this place, Jason and his wife decided to explore this land again, and they didn't fail. Here is what Jason himself says. When I returned to the place where the coins were found, my metal detector gave out a powerful signal, and so, at a depth of only 5 centimeters, I found a strange bronze object. My wife was shocked by this find. Jason did not immediately understand what he had found. Therefore, he posted a photo of the find on the social media and imagine his new toy turned out to be a relic of the Vikings. Jason immediately informed the archaeologists about this so that they could study this unique item in detail. Historians have established that the item found was probably used to decorate Viking helmets. It is a stamp for creating patterns on a metal plate, which is then attached to the helmet. This process is called repose, and it creates a light decorated motif. In this case, it was a protection for the cheeks or nose of a warrior. The found plate, 14 centimeters long, weighing 186 grams, is decorated with an exquisite relief pattern, which, according to experts, represents the mythological world tree Yggdrasil, at the roots of which the snake-like creature Nethok lives. 
Ancient Funerary Osiris. And now I will tell you about three stone urns, which are already 1,850 years old. They were found near the Israeli city of Kafakana in the Galilee. Stone urns, also called ossuaries, were used in ancient times to store skeletal remains. This was traditional for the Jews of Judea and Galilee during the period of the Roman Empire, beginning around the 1st century BC. These urns were discovered in ancient burial caves, accidentally destroyed during construction work. Of the three urns, only fragments survived and they were all empty. Immediately there was a suspicion of looting. Police have already launched an investigation and construction on the site has been halted. The destruction of the caves caused irreversible damage. Archaeologists are urging people to be vigilant and report suspicious activity in places where there may be archaeological sites. The researchers collected all the ossuaries found and carefully studied them, and that's what they found. Urns are made in the Greek style, which was typical for the Jewish population in the Roman period. And the most interesting thing, one of the urns depicts a round wreath with drilled holes. It is believed that this is a symbol of the victory of the deceased over death. What were the rewards for ancient Roman soldiers? Let's remember the Roman Empire and fast forward to Vendelanda, an ancient Roman camp in the north of England. There, amateur archaeologists made an amazing discovery. A silver medallion or phalera depicting the head of the Gorgon Medusa. Vendelanda is not just a ford. This is a real open-air museum which attracts archaeologists from all over the world. Hundreds of people work here as volunteers every year. The excavations of Vendelanda reveal to us a picture of everyday life on the outskirts of the Roman Empire. The fort, which stands one and a half kilometers from Hadrian's Wall, was built around 85 AD to protect against the Celtic tribes. The garrison included soldiers from territories conquered by Rome, including what today we call Belgium. Belgium, Germany, and France. The fort was rebuilt many times. In its place, nine layers of different fortresses were found, one on top of the other. Now the ruins of the 3rd century are visible. The fortress walls, the headquarters building, the commander's house, granaries, barracks, and even an outer settlement with shops and a bathhouse. It was in one of the barracks that a unique medallion with the image of the Gorgon Medusa was found. Despite its impressive age of 1,900 years, it is still perfectly preserved. Silk Imperial Decree In Jeji County, Handan City, in the north of Hebei province, archaeologists have discovered a unique five-color Silk Imperial Decree. Apparently, it dates back to the Qing Dynasty, which means it is over 140 years old, and its dimensions are more than impressive – 2.22 meters long and 30 centimeters wide. But interestingly, this decree is written in two languages – Chinese and Manchu. Such a linguistic palette reflects the ethno-cultural diversity that prevailed during the Qin Dynasty. The decree was originally issued to family members of a noble official from the time of the Guanxu Emperor. Such a document play a huge role in the transmission of imperial directives and maintaining order within the empire. The study of such a document provides scientists with incredible opportunities to study various aspects of the life of the Qin Dynasty, its social culture, and etiquette. The Qin Dynasty ruled over vast territories from the Manchu homeland in the northeast to the Tibetan plateau in the southwest. And this whole powerful empire was organized on the basis of a complex administrative system where Manchu and Chinese traditions were mixed. The influence of the Qin Dynasty continues to be felt in modern Chinese culture and history. Filling the dead with plaster Archaeologists have used state-of-the-art technology to shed light on one of the strangest Roman burial traditions involving filling the body of the deceased with plaster. Gypsum was poured directly into the coffin, enveloping the entire body. It turned out something like a 3D model of the deceased. These Roman plaster burials are found throughout Europe and North Africa. About 45 such burials have been discovered in Roman Britain. Scientists scanned 16 plaster burials from the Yorkshire Museum in the UK. The scan revealed a plaster coffin containing the remains of two adults and an infant who died together. And what do these 3D models give us? They detailed the shape, size, and position of each of the deceased, as well as how they were dressed or wrapped. It turns out that 3D visualization is a huge help in studying ancient finds. So why did the Romans engage in such strange burial practices? Scientists suggest that this 
This could be due to high social status. Regardless of the reasons, this unusual funerary practice has proved super useful for archaeologists. Plaster prints retain a ton of detail that is usually lost over time, including the clothes of the deceased. New Maya City in the jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, scientists have discovered a stunning find – a forgotten city of the ancient Mayan civilization, which is over 1,000 years old. In the Balancu Reserve, a team of archaeologists found the city on 50 hectares of land. Imagine, it's like 70 football fields, and there are many buildings here, including 5-meter-high pyramids and even a ball field. They named the city Ocompton, which means stone pillar in the Mayan language. Language. And all because a lot of columns were found there. This city was an important site for the Maya about 1,000 years ago. A Compton was found thanks to aerial laser scanning. But the most interesting thing in this city is the Mayan sports scoreboard. At the archaeological site in Chichen Itza, they found a large stone circle where hieroglyphs were engraved, and next to it was an image of a football match. The Maya not only built pyramids, but were also fans of sports. Cemetery of Ancient Elephant Relatives We have new finds from the world of ancient animals that will definitely surprise you. Imagine ancient elephants. They're not just big, they're gigantic. Their teeth were so huge that they were called gonfathers, which means things like swords. And it was they who became the heroes of our today's video. Representatives of the Florida Museum of Natural History made an amazing discovery at the Monbrook site. Where the river flowed millions of years ago, they found the fossilized remains of these giants. These huge animals have been dying here for centuries. According to Jonathan Block, the museum's curator, this is the find of the century. The Gulfotherium skeleton found is the most complete in Florida and one of the most complete in North America. Its age is about five and a half million years. But the most amazing thing about this story is that scientists found several skeletons at once. Usually archaeologists find only fragments of the skeleton, but several complete skeletons have been found here, including the skeleton of an adult and seven younger ones. According to scientists, these ancient elephants did not die at the same time. Most likely, Gomphoteria got stuck in one place at different times. Perhaps it was some kind of cursed place where they were trapped, but these are just guesses. Who witnessed the extinction of dinosaurs? Imagine you are on a walk and you meet a dinosaur. Great the thought, right? But today's story is just about that. Bear with me, because scientists have discovered something incredible. Dinosaurs and human ancestors lived together on the same planet. This amazing story was told to us by scientists from the University of Bristol and the University of Freiburg. They studied mammalian fossils and concluded that their distant ancestors, placental mammals including primates, appeared before the dinosaurs disappeared. We always thought dinosaurs were extinct and then mammals came on the scene, including our ancestors. But scientists are challenging this idea. Imagine the picture, small primates, perhaps your great great great, well, you get the idea, running past huge dinosaurs. It's strange and funny to imagine such a thing, isn't it? Emily Carlyle, one of the authors of this study, said that they studied thousands of fossils and noticed interesting patterns in the emergence and extinction of different groups of animals. According to their estimates, early mammals evolved exactly at the time when dinosaurs still lived. In general, our ancestors could have witnessed an amazing event, the extinction of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And although we do not know exactly what they looked like, most likely they were small creatures from the order of primates. This truly amazing discovery is changing our understanding of our planet's past. Interstellar Object Imagine, hidden in the depth of the Pacific Ocean is a mystery that only a brave explorer can solve. No, this is not about the new Pirates of the Caribbean series. This is a real scientific story told by a renowned Harvard astrophysicist, Avi Loeb. Since 2017, he has been claiming that the asteroid Oumuamua that fell into the ocean is a crushed probe of an alien civilization. Can you guys imagine if this is true? 
Avi Loeb decided not to leave this hypothesis without testing and put together a research team. So what did they find? At the bottom of the ocean off the coast of Papua New Guinea, 50 iron bells microscopic in size were found, which usually remain from meteorites that burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Loeb called them molten blobs from a fireball and argues that they have incredible strength and may come from a natural environment other than the solar system or an extraterrestrial technological civilization. Scientists examined these balls and found that they are stronger than any other space material that has ever been recorded by NASA. Their composition indicates a super strong iron unlike anything we know. This discovery could help future scientific expeditions find evidence of alien life with even greater accuracy. Loeb and his team hope to find even more evidence through Project Galileo. Next year's goal is to find a larger IM-1 artifact on the ocean floor. They may not find what they're looking for, but the scientist is sure that they will learn something new anyway. So stick with us, guys, and you will be aware of all the most amazing stories from the world of science and archaeology. Subscribe to our channel because there will be even more finds of archaeologists. Leave your kind comments under the video and tell your friends about us. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!